My name's Alonescape, and welcome to another Iron Man episode. I ended my last one with getting, of course, those tier 85 magic gloves from Karapak. And I wanted to grind for 99 Hunter, and look at that, I am pretty close to it, 110,000 experience off it. But before we actually get that 99 Hunter and start the video, I just want to say, if you do enjoy this video, remember to leave a like on it. Of course, it helps my videos get shown more and all that stuff, and subscribe if you want to see future content. But without out of the way, let's begin the video. The last 200 experience here, so just one more catch. And as you can see, I'm also 92 agility. I went all the way from, I think, halfway to 90 to 92. And that is now another 99 for the account. And I'm really getting excited for that max cape. I really want to get it done as soon as possible so I can start doing the big PVM grinds. And uh, let's get the 99 hunter cape. Talking to the hunting expert, let's talk about the skill cape. I think I have enough money right here, actually. I think I'll only get one, but I actually like this cape. I like how this looks, and the hood is pretty cool as well. I have the retro version of the skill capes, and yeah, it actually, I like this one. I would love to get the 120 cape in the future, but obviously that is a pretty good grind. I actually want to try the combo of Exsanguinate 12 stacks and then extend your Combust with the new gloves that uh, makes your Combust do all the damage instantly, all the ticks, you know, they just proc right away. Uh, so it's going to be a 2 second extension on my Combust when I use the 12 stacks of Exsanguinate and I want to see what the damage stack is going to be like with more ticks of Combustion and I'm also going to try to walk it. So now I have the extended combustion right there, and I use the dragon's breath, and then I combust, and I try to walk it. Okay, so that was like 10,000 damage in one single combust. I can probably get more than that, because it was 1k per tick, and I think I got 1.8k once on some creatures, so it, it definitely has some potential to do like 15,000 damage, or even up to 20ks. Okay, let's see if I can kill a 15k enemy. If I put combust on it... So it gets walked and now I Dragon's Breath and 1.9k so many times that it just insta died. Of course it has the cap of the mobs having 15k HP so I will have to try this on a mob that has more HP. I can maybe try it on the Rex Matriarchs or something like that to see how much actual damage I can get out. But uh, that is some insane damage output. Oh, it actually didn't take that long. I got 120 Nodon Dragonkins and what I really wanted this for is actually Karapak. Yes, you can use the Slayer Helmet on Karapak, and I want to try if you can actually use Tusker's Wrath on Karapak as well, and hitting like 10k really consistently with an ability on that boss would be insane. So I'm going to go and actually get the ability, I don't even have it yet, but I'll be back in just a second I have it. Actually, I don't even have to get into the boss, I got the Tusker's Wrath ability, but it doesn't work on bosses, so... Uh, that is unfortunate, but I still got it, and it is still a decent ability. I mean, for future Slayer, it's going to be very nice. So each kill on a Slayer assignment is 16,000 experience. So let's uh, kill this 16.7k. And uh, also, I did try a couple of times to stack the combustion as high as possible. But it seems like the highest I can get it to do in one single, uh, well, like in one stack is like 10,000 damage. Which is not bad at all, but I think that's about the maximum amount I can do with uh, this setup. 10,000 damage in one combust instantly is pretty good soul split healing as well. So combustion walking and extending it and all that is not very reliable, especially on this boss, because there's a lot of times when the boss is just standing still and you can't really do anything about it. And I think ranged overall with the gear I have and everything is just faster anyway, so I'm just going to do uh, quite a lot of ranged kills instead. But I've already done like 12 kills, no drop so far though. No way, dude. What's my Karapak, Casey? It is uh, 77 and I get duplicate gloves. What do I even do with these? Do I like send them over to my main or something? Because I think they're worth a lot, like 50 mil or something. Uh, I don't know. Do I really have any use for duplicate gloves at all? I don't think so. I was actually looking at if there's any good components you can get from them, and not really. There's really nothing too great, so I'm just going to drop it, and I'm going to uh, take them on my main account, Carapax Wrist Wraps, and I'm going to go and sell them, and let's see what they actually sell for. I heard they were like 50 mil, so I'm just going to put them in on that and see if they actually sell. They do not, so I'm going to put it on like 40 mil, see if they sell. Hopefully it does, so they they haven't dropped all too much. 
and they didn't sell. Um, maybe I should just try to put them for like 25 mil or something and uh, see what they actually sell for because at 25 mil they should be selling and they are not. Wow, okay, so I guess they were only 55 mil the first day and now they have dropped quite a lot. I guess that might be a sign that they are not as good as people thought they would be. So I'm just going to put 15 mil. Okay, so they sold now for 17 million exactly. And that's probably as good as of a, of a value you can get from those gloves. They're probably going to go down even further if they've already dropped like 30 million in a few days. Oh, I got the codex. Look at that. What the hell? This is like 60 mil in the main game, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I I wanted the book rather, the uh, scripture of jazz, but uh, well, I'm not saying no to the ability codex. Definitely a very nice unlock. I'm of course going to save this and I'm going to learn it. Uh, whenever I do get a good one to use it with, I am going to uh, have some nice use of this ability. Look at that. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. I got the scripture of jazz and I only have 6 KC left. My KC is 166. I've pretty much been doing Karapak normal for the past two days with the Slayer Helmet and look at the Slayer experience, almost 2 million from these kills. I finally got the book and I got it on this task. Oh my god, that is such a nice feeling. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. I actually have 50 pages as well, which is like, what, 35 hours or something of charge or maybe more than that. I have to unlock it first, uh, of course I'm going to do that. And uh, let's put some page. Oh, it's already three hours charged. I guess it's full charged. So uh, yeah, three hours maximum. So I guess that's like five pages you can put into it. Finally got it. You can see the proc on my buffs there. Five, four, three. And let's see how much it's going to hit after. 5.9k. Yeah, that's not bad at all, actually. That's a pretty nice extra hit. How the book works is basically just uh, it procs and then you have 10 seconds to do as much damage in that window as possible and then 20% of all the damage you did in that window is going to be an instant hit so the 5.9k I hit was 29,000 damage done and by the way that is the task done finally after two days of doing this. I am very happy with the results, got all the uniques. So from all of that, I actually got like 1,600 uncut dragon stones, which is uh, rare to have on my account. I haven't really been doing anything that gives me good jewelry. So I'm just going to be making 1,600 roughly jewelry, dragon stone jewelry. And then I'm going to disassemble all of that for uh, the precious components because I have been lacking on those for a very long time. I actually lack the dexterous components as well and I can't really use uh, or I can't make any siphons. That is what I want to make. And I will probably with these amounts of jewelry be able to get enough precious components to make all the siphons I need for 120 invention. Which is the main goal I want to get when it comes to invention. Of course 150 I think is the highest is a nice goal to go for. But 120 is the big milestone first off for the cape. And I think I will have to make like magic short bows or something like that for dexterous components. I'll solve that uh, later but uh, quite a grind here first to make all the jewelry. There we go, 1,563 dragon stones, and I'm going to now, of course, disassemble all of them. And from all of this, I go from 4 precious components to 102 precious components. And I think I need overall 25 equipment siphons if I want to go all the way to 120. And I need 125 precious components for that. But uh, I also have some items that are, I think, pretty high level already that will uh, save some of the siphons when I siphon them. So I really only need to get more dexterous components now to be able to make all the siphons that I'll probably need for 120. I actually had quite a lot of items I could get dexterous components from, so I got the equal amount as precious components. I can make 20 siphons right away, and I have all these items in my bag that are all above level 12 or level 12. So this one is 12, this one is 14. I use these for, of course, Karapak, same with the ranged gear, and then I have a 15 hatchet. So I have a decent amount of experience here, should be 116 most likely from just these items. Still have 15 over and I actually almost got 117 and as you can see my uh, masterwork chest is 11 and same with the legs. And I have some other items as well that is pretty close to it. Of course these are just reset so this one is 9, these are 11. So yeah, I have a lot of invention experience to come pretty soon and I, I should be getting 120 invention in the near future if I do a lot of PVMing. 
Another big benefit of doing so much Karapak is that it gives a lot of soul runes, so I have actually set up everything I need now for wood cutting, and I'm going to be doing all these soul runes that I have almost 4.3k on Crystallize, and it is very expensive. You can see here it costs 6 soul runes for every single cast, and it's only up for 30 seconds. But uh, I'm going to reset this counter right here, and if I do this and use it on the tree, in this duration, I get just insane experience. 181, Seren Spirit as well. 181, and you can see here, it's giving me really good experience compared to... Of course, Crystal Trees is very nice as well, and a lot more AFK, but this experience is just way faster. So I'm going to be doing all of these soul runes on the Crystallize spell on Acadia Trees. See how much experience I get, but it is going to be quite a long grind, and I do want to get a video up today for the reason of tomorrow i am actually moving into my first apartment and we're going to have a lot of things to do it's going to be very busy two days three days maybe of putting everything into the house fixing the internet so i probably won't be able to play in the next two three days so i wanted to post this video for that reason and uh I'm very happy with the results on Carapack and all that, but uh, next video might take a bit longer due to that reason. So, hope you guys are okay with that. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Have a good one. Take care.